as of now we have studied the fluids at rest means all the fluid particles they are in the rest position now we are discussing about fluids in motion so the study of fluids in motion is called as fluid dynamics when we turn on a water tap very slowly initially the water flow is very smooth when we increase the speed by changing the tap position then when the speed of the water increases it loses its smoothness so when we are trying to study the motion of the fluids we are trying to find what exactly happening to the various fluid particles at a particular point in the space at a particular time if the flow of the fluid whatever the fluid is flowing if the velocity of the each passing particle means example in order to make you understand i will take two points this is point a and this is point b and the fluid particle which is passing through point a if each particle has the same velocity v then the fluid is said to be in the study this does not mean the fluid particle when it goes from a to b at b also it should have same velocity its velocity may vary the velocity may be 2v but even though the velocity is doubled each particle which is traveling at a it has the same velocity v and each particle that is traveling at the point v it has the same velocity as to v then the fluid is in study study state so always the fluid particles try to find the smoother path and the paths of these particles do not cross each other so if the fluid particle in this study flow of the fluid we are considering the path taken by this fluid particle is called as a streamline now we consider three points here one is p and the second one is r and the third one is q if the fluid particle started from p through r it is traveling to q now the area at the p is a suffix p and area at r is a suffix r and area at q is a suffix q and the velocity at the point p is v suffix p and the velocity at r is v suffix r and the velocity at q is v suffix q similarly we want to find the mass of the fluid that is passing through the point p in a small fraction of time delta t then the mass of the fluid is given by rho density of the fluid into area at p and the velocity of the fluid that is v suffix p into delta t this must be equal to the mass of the fluid that is traveling through r in the small fraction of the time so that is rho a b r delta t so when we equate these three equations because the density of the fluid remains same so density can be cancelled and delta t remains same it is cancelled so finally av is equal to constant this is called equation of continuity so at any particular point of time the area into velocity of the fluid that is traveling if we multiply that remains constant whether it is at point p or r or q irrespective of that the area into velocity remains constant it is called equation of the 
कंटिन्यूटी सो बिकॉज ए वी इज कॉन्स्टेंट इफ वी टेक दिस हारिजोंटल पाइप यू सी इन आर्डर टू मेंटेन द ए वी एज कॉन्स्टेंट एग्जाम्पल हियर आई एम राइटिंग हियर ए वन वी वन ए टू वी टू ए थ्री वी थ्री हियर यू सी A1 area is small compared to the A2, but A1 V1 must be equal to A2 V2. When it happens, because A1 is very much small compared to A2, then the velocity V1 must be more compared to V2. So whenever this narrow portion is there here, here the flow of the fluid, the velocity is high velocity is more compared to this point r this makes the equation of continuity to work so irrespective of the changes in the area the velocity of the fluid also changes in such a way that to make the area into velocity of the fluid remains constant so when the fluid speed is low then the steady flow is achieved but if the flow of the fluid the speed increases beyond the particular limit that's what we call as critical speed then the fluid loses its steadiness and it becomes turbulent example we see here you see initially for lower velocities all the fluid particles are traveling in a steady flow but suddenly we have increased the velocity of the fluid particles then you see some whirlpool like structure you observe here all the particles they try to take a some curvy path because of that each particle may collide with the other particle so this region you see small foamy whirlpool like regions uh, here form this flow is called as turbulent flow in this turbulent flow the steady flow principle is not followed so this is the difference between steady flow and the turbulent flow in the steady flow the area into velocity remains constant whereas the turbulent flow this principle will not be followed